Hey, what's good, Fear fans? This is the Confire Crew, and we're here to talk about Season 2, Episode 9, Los Muertos. Every day is Day of the Dead now, people. And speaking of dead, man, what about that opening scene? Bro, dude hands off his knife, walks through a bus, people are chanting, just willingly gets attacked by walkers. Huh? I was confused, man. I didn't know what was going on. Good way to open up a scene. You know, this is probably the best way I've ever seen a group deal with the infected. Okay, normally, it's almost like a cliche at this point. When you're with a group, you get bit, don't nobody say nothing. You get bit, you hide it, and you ultimately turn and then attack the group, normally taking out at least one other person in the group. You just kind of expect it to happen. But with this faith system that they got going on, that they've been building up throughout this show, these people just kind of willingly give themselves over, they're gonna die anyway, and now they act as a defense for the group, all right? They go to the wall of the dead. This is basically their version of the nice watch. I do have one question though. Why don't the walkers attack the wall, right, that fence, like they do at the prison in The Walking Dead? Pretty much the same scenario, except these walkers are kind of roaming around aimlessly, whereas there, they were constantly having to reinforce the fence. But let's go ahead, we're gonna move on, we're gonna break down six moments that happen in this episode. First moment is, Abigail is gone. All right, this is good for two reasons. One, as an audience member, there's just only so much you can really do on a boat and keep it interesting, okay? We've kind of explored the boat. It was cool, we've seen it. Um, I'm done with it, for now, anyway. Second reason is, it really allows the group to adapt and really learn how to survive when you have walkers seemingly at every turn. I love Alicia in this episode. I mean, the moment she realized the boat was gone, she had a plan, she was already thinking. Let's go to the hotel. She's very dogmatic about it. Didn't care if like, boat's gone, there's a hotel back there, let's get to going. Madison's worried about Nick coming back. She's like, okay, here, take the stick, let's write a sign, we got to get. I really enjoyed that. I kind of fell in love with Alicia at that moment. I ain't gonna lie. The show has now given me another character that I like seeing and I wanna see more of. So, thank you, Fear. Guys, after a long day of killing zombies, running from zombies, almost being eaten by zombies, you need to relax. And that's why we provided you the brand new high-end resort, Sandals Apocalypse. No, seriously, one of the best things I love about Fear is that we get to see these interesting locations that we don't normally get to see in The Walking Dead. And who doesn't want to know what a resort looks like after the apocalypse? Well, that's where we are, and it looks like it's a place that maybe they're going to be for a little bit. Um, but overall, really excited about this very new location. We get to find out something really interesting about Nick and Alicia's dad. Um, as Madison is explaining to Strand that he has a darkness inside of him, one that kind of led him towards danger and even death. This is what she believes is also present in Nick. But we tur it turns out that, that Nick's dad might have killed himself. I mean, the way they made it seem is that he took his car head on into traffic and died. Um, the kids don't know this. She's explained to him that he fell asleep. Um, but that's very interesting about Nick's dad, and it does kind of allude to maybe what is going on in Nick's mind a little bit and some of the issues that he might have. Big Nick out here stealing candy bars. Look, we have apparently this fragile barter system going on where one group is trading medicine for water and other supplies, right? This food line, a hotel, whatever it is, being manned by armed guards, Nick decides he's gonna steal a candy bar. Things escalate really quickly. And it probably leads into one of my favorite moments of this episode and maybe throughout this entire show, really. Um, it doesn't seem like it was a big deal, but I liked it. Nick gets tackled, he's down on the ground, he's about to get his arm chopped off, right? His hand is about to be gone. You got the language barrier. Nick, cool as a cucumber, just pretty much diffuses the entire situation. I thought it was great. He's like, yo, get your sister in there? Yeah, she on that oxy? <laughs> Man, she about to be feeding for that oxy. You ain't got no oxy, right? Y'all about to run out. As much as y'all using it, I know. We got the oxy. You gonna wish she dies and turns into a walker just so you can kill her. I'm like, dang, man, Nick, man, he cool. They got his gun to his head, they about to, he about to lose a hand. No fear whatsoever. Turns the situation around and ultimately just like, you know what, as a matter of fact, let me get a whole nother cart of water and then snatches his candy bar up. I mean, Nick literally out here in the streets like bad boys. And give me a pack of tropical fruit bubblicious and some Skittles. Sandals Apocalypse also has a great bar and 
live piano playing. That's right, none other than Mr. Strand himself will tickle the ivories and get you all very excited about what's to come. But the downside to that is guess what guys, haven't they learned yet that plane making noises doesn't attract walkers? Well, I guess they learned that lesson this time and we are left with a really large group of walkers coming at them and they're kind of trying to hide behind the bar, you know, and I don't know, it didn't look good. It definitely doesn't look good what's going on with them, but you know, something will save them, but still very interesting. One of the most interesting new characters on the show, Alejandro the Pharmacist. Now we learned something a little interesting about him. We Earlier on in the show, it's possible that he could have possibly been bitten and didn't actually get sick, which was really interesting. But then at the end, we see him with what looks like a chunk of his shoulder bitten off. And he's not, he's not turned. This is very interesting because it's possible that we have seen the first person who could be immune on the show. This is very exciting and very interesting in itself, but it also looks like because of him being immune, he has created this almost of a almost a cult where these people follow him and listen to what he says. And of course, Nick being the gullible guy that it is, it looks like he's drinking the Kool-Aid that this cult is dishing out. But hopefully, Nick has been able to see, you know, that maybe they're not exactly what he was thinking they were. But hey, I guess we'll find that out next time. This show is really picking up in a good way. This new method of drip feeding, um, the character storylines to us, episode by episode, is really paying off for me. Uh, first episode, 100% all about Nick and what's going on there. Got me interested and focused on one thing going on with one character that they could really develop. Second episode, you get more of Nick, but also now you get Madison, um, her group, and what they got going on with them. Same situation, interested what's going on with both groups, Next week, it looks like we're going to get Travis and his psycho son. Hopefully, I'm as equally interested in that storyline as I am these other two, and I think that I will. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And if that's the case, now we've got three different storylines that they can really break this episode up. You can show a little bit here, a little bit there, and you're intrigued about what's going on with each group and the suspense of them inevitably meeting up and how much they are going to have changed over this time. So I don't know, I'm glad I stuck with this show. What do you guys think? Are you enjoying the show now? And tell me, who do you like now? Do, do you like Alicia more after this episode or not? Comment in the section below. Like the video if you like the video. And until next time, guys, we out.